Hi, my name is Christopher Addy, and I am joined today by Matt Murphy, Autodesk University extraordinaire. <laughs> Hi, Matt. How are you? I'm good, Chris. How are you? I'm doing very well. Uh, thanks for taking some time to be with me today. We're just a few months away from Autodesk University, uh, Las Vegas, 2018, and many would consider you a veteran of AU. Briefly, tell me a little bit about uh, your history and experiences with Autodesk University. Well, as a veteran, I could probably tell you lots of stories over the years, but this will be my 26th Autodesk University. So I have actually attended every single one as a speaker, except for the last two because of these new initiatives that I've been working on. So I taught over 120 sessions over those 24 years, and it's uh, been quite a rewarding experience. That's amazing. With all that experience, what are some changes over the past couple of years or just over the years that you've seen that makes uh, AU the best conference in the industry? Yeah, I mean, things have changed a lot in 25 years. If you go back 25 years ago, we, we didn't have anything that we could broadcast over the web. There wasn't any video capture. We were probably still using uh, some DOS and early Windows-based systems. So the software itself was pretty primitive compared to what we use today. But in terms of what the event is like, it's definitely changed a lot. Traditional sessions were pretty much kind of stand-up lectures. And now we have things such as hands-on labs where people can actually touch the software and, and, get, and get involved. Uh, panel discussions with experts, roundtables where participants can participate and give their input. It's more about community now than it ever has been, which means that as an attendee, you're embraced as part of the community to not just attend sessions, but participate in the growth of the community and, and how to use the products and be more productive with them. That's awesome. So there's a lot that's been added over the past uh, many years at Autodesk University and a lot to do for attendees. What's some advice that you would give to new, attendee, uh, new attendees and what would be something that you would say is the can't miss activity for Autodesk University? Things that you have to do is, uh, first of all, you got to drink lots of water and you got to have good walking shoes because it's uh, between all the classes and the show floor, you're going to Get your 10,000 steps in easily for those of you that keep track of that stuff on, on your Fitbits and all that. Uh, you, d you definitely want to make sure you drink lots of water. The best, uh, let's see, besides the sessions, in terms of things not to miss, don't miss the keynote. Uh, a lot of people skip that, but it, I always attend the keynotes. Uh, Jeff Kowalski, who is their uh, vice president of technology, never talks about Autodesk products. He talks about the future of where technology is going and how generative design is, is moving forward. So it's a, it's a way to look into the future of where design is going and not specifically looking at what Autodesk is rolling out for new products. It's a, it's a must attend as part of the event. Okay, that's great advice. So you mentioned that you have not had any sessions the past couple of years because you've been working on a new program. Uh, and that's been the speaker mentorship program. Can you tell us a little more about that and the goals of that program? Yeah, absolutely. So the speaker mentorship program is something that I, I kind of came up with a few years ago saying, all right, I could teach another session, but after 24 years of teaching, I said, what can I do to give back to the community, to help grow this community, to help first time speakers and new speakers actually deliver very effective sessions. And that's how this the program came about. The goal there is how do we nurture and grow the next generation of great AU speakers through community, through mentorship, and help strive, help them strive to deliver the best session that they possibly can. Because if they deliver a great session, it's going to be a great session for attendees as well. Absolutely. So there's a couple parts to the program. If I, let me just talk about those real briefly. And that is uh, we have a we have a, a Slack channel where people can go and they can share in conversation. We've built out these little micro learning modules of past webinars, which are going to be served up on playlists so people can watch them just in these little snippets of pieces of information that they might need. Like say, for example, they're not quite sure that what's the best practice for putting an image in their handout. Well, there's a three minute video they can watch from some of our experts who have been writing and delivering some effect, some great sessions over the years. So. Um, they can watch these little webinars. And, and of course, the one-on-one -on -one mentorship, where we take an experienced veteran speaker, we pair them with a first-time or new speaker, 
and help guide them through the process of preparing for their session, uh, reviewing and critiquing their handouts and their presentations. We've even set aside a practice room at AU so that they can actually meet before their session. And of course, the mentor is going to be in there to kind of coach and help them along if they need that when they deliver their first session and provide some critique at that particular point as well. So guiding them through that entire process as opposed to simply being alone and presenting your session for the very first time, it, it, it's a great way to mentor a new individual along and to build a new and lasting relationship with a new speaker in the community. Yeah, that sounds like a really great uh, offering you've, you've come up with for people to be able to develop their skills and get assistance in delivering a, a really good AU presentation. What are some steps that people could take to get involved, either you know, an experienced speaker to offer their services or a new speaker to get in contact with a mentor? Uh, any new speaker or any existing speaker that wants to participate can simply send a, a request to the Speaker Resource Center. They'll forward that information on to me and we'll, we'll get you involved in the program. Awesome. Well, it sounds like things are shaping up really nicely for Autodesk University this year. I know that you're really excited to continue your involvement and make a positive impact on the conference. Yeah, so, absolutely. That's all, that's all I've ever wanted to do is to uh, you know try to grow the community, make sure people are productive with Autodesk products. But this particular stage, it's like, what can I do for the next generation to help them be more successful? Not only as speakers, okay. but for the attendees as well. Well, it sounds like you're on the right track for that. Absolutely. I hope so. Thanks, Matt, for joining me today. And I hope you have a wonderful time at Autodesk University this year. I will. Thanks so much, Chris. Thanks.